In the beginning I will show you how to import reference background images. You can download the images for this tutorial from the link in the description. Drag and drop the reference image. Go to image properties and activate front under depth. Deactivate perspective and set the opacity to 0.5. In the object properties deactivate selectable. With the background images in position, I add a cube and scale it down to the size of a head. I align the center of a cube with the center of a head. Press Ctrl4 to add a subdivision surface modifier with four subdivisions and apply the modifier. Switch to the Sculpting tab and activate Mirror X in the Symmetry menu. Activate the Grab brush and scale the brush with F. Now we try to form the head with a brush. Don't forget to rotate the model to make sure it looks good from all angles. Block out, I remesh the shape with a voxel size of 0.02. Switch to the draw brush and decrease the brush size. Hold down Ctrl to invert the brush and carve the eye sockets. Repeat the process for the mouth. After checking the mouth, I'm not satisfied with the level of detail. I remeshed with voxel size 0.01 and refined the mouth. I worked on the head a little bit longer. You will see my progress in a time lapse. Remesh artifact with a smooth brush at the strength of 0.3. Let's model the arms of the octopus. Add a Bezier curve and rotate it 90 degrees around the x-axis and 90 degrees around the z-axis. Increase the resolution to 24. Align the curve with the center of the main arm. You can scale, move and rotate each handle. When you scale the handle down, the curve radius will decrease. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
In the bevel menu, set the depth to 0.12 and go to Object, Convert, Curve to Mesh. In Edit Mode, select the loop cut at the tip and scale it down. Close the geometry with F to insert a face. Scale the loop cut at the other end up. We don't need to insert a face here because we attach the arm to the head. I switch to sculpt mode again and shape the arm with help of a grab brush. The smooth brush is a great tool to shrink the arm at the tip. When you finished modeling, copy the arm in object mode and rotate it 45 degrees around the center. Repeat until you created 8 arms. Join all arms with Ctrl J. Select the head and add a boolean modifier and set the operation to union. Select the arms and apply the modifier. When we switch to edit mode, we see that the topology of the head is much denser than the arms. So we do another remesh. Smooth out the transition from the arms to the head and the artifacts in the arms. At the end, we need to create a concave shape at the bottom in the center. The inverted draw brush will do the job here. Now it's time for the eyes. I add a UV sphere, scale it down in edit mode and align it with the left eye. The mirror modifier duplicates the eye to the other side. Activate shade smooth and add two materials one for the white and one for the black pupil. Set the viewport display of the pupil material to black and assign the material to a few faces in the center. I return to sculpt mode and add the details around the eyes. You see my progress again in time lapse. At the end, we need to model the suction cups. 
I added a circle and extrude it outwards. Select the inner circle and extrude it upwards. Repeat the same for the outer circle. Scale the inner circle in and the outer circle outwards. Now bevel the edges and we finish the suction cup. We need to copy and distribute the cups on one arm and copy the distribution to the other arms. That's it for the modeling part and I will see you in the next tutorial for the texture painting.